Poor. Okay, today we have a special guest, Nal and Stamper. Hey guys, I'm... Hey, wait, I thought I was... Wait, I just get to Corey, Corey's here too. Okay, um... Get out, go. Today, Corey has a very special topic. Um, he has a special announcement also, I left Corey. for a couple of months, you guys are fucking remedial, what happened? Oh, What's remedial? You fell apart. Remedial's like, you know, you know, you know in like, uh, school when you do like higher level like mathematics, remedial, then you do like the... You mean intermediate? Of, it's like yeah. hamburger meat. Interremedial. It's kind of like anxious... We get anxiety. worse. No, that's what he's trying to say. You're by the book. F you, Stamper. We use rulers when we measure. You know, people, do you know, statistically speaking, people say season two is much better than Who season Who uses rulers when they measure? My wiener, baby. Actually, I've never measured my <laughs> When you were in school, no what kind of freak had a projector and, like, one of those, like, uh, astro projector things where you, like, mark it on the ground and then, like, record, like, lines with it? What are you talking about? <laughs> I thought astro, 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 like. astro projection is when you step out of your body when you're sleeping. <laughs> I, I couldn't think of the exact term. <laughs> this is how the podcast has been going this whole time, dude. Jesus Christ. You know what I'm talking about, though. Those little circle ruler things, those astro projectors. Dude, this is not an astro projector. Let's just pretend that that's the term. It's a protractor, dude. Yes! Yeah, that's what I meant. What are you talking about? <laughs> that's what I meant. Or you, when you Who, go to bed, you of... stand on a protractor and you step out of your body. What kind of freak used one of those? Because Everyone used those. You know what? I went to school, right? Everybody had to use those. You remember what when I was of... in seventh grade or like when I went to school, my mom would always like, I would get a trapper keeper because it wasn't cool to get right, No, yeah, it was in your, it was, your teacher's like, you need number two pencils, a protractor, yeah. uh, a box to hold all your shit, <laughs> crayons yeah. for some reason, even Actually, though you're too old for crayons. Now you're saying that. I yeah. think I might have used that a little projector, pouch to maybe, hold some fucking I, I, things in. I think I used that projector like four or five times in my life. Yeah, what the fuck are you talking about? You know those things, those, those like, are we talking about the, the semi-circle? Oh, projector. Yes, yes. Or, or the, or the, the yeah, look, How did you get from astral projection to Because he was calling you it that. You Shut up, Nile. It's like this little V. Upside down V-shaped thing. Yeah. You hold a pencil That's on a one compass. side, and the other thing. It's a rhombus, so you can make a perfect circle. <laughs> no, wait, no, it's a protractor like the thing here. No, that's a compass. Right? That's a compass. Sweet. So it's the semi, I was, the semicircle is what's that called? A pro it's protractor. a protractor, dude. Okay, so that's, that's a, a protractor. protractor. Yeah. Okay, but what we're saying is they that is you, a compass. They, you're the right. teachers are like, go buy the those, but then you use them maybe five times tops in your life. But when you're in math class, you need them. No, you don't. No, you don't. You need the five times. You're learning how to add and multiply. You did honors maths. Think of the people who are stupid like me, Corey and Stamper. You know what I remember from Wait, that? Wait, Niall did honors math? Yes, he's a faggot! Wow, and he didn't know that? You can correct me <laughs> I didn't earlier? Know, I didn't know that I was a faggot? Because I didn't, honor, didn't do honors math? You know what I don't remember? You do honors math? Did you do honors math? Yes, like no. collecting beans? Leave! Niall, you got a, cast he got a 600 on his leaving her. That's no, I didn't. I didn't. Oh, you got 500. Five something. Okay. 500. This, I can't remember what I got. I got Look, what? that's a really good leaving. I got, I got, I got, I got, I got, I got high results, okay? Okay, so I can final this for like the next, like, two months. Saturday test. The compass is the thing with the V and the pencil, right? Mm. With the pin that you draw yeah. circles with, mm -hmm. yeah. and then the the protractor is the, the half crescent moon. The, yeah, the crescent. Yeah. This with the yeah, which is practical for it. finding the, the angle of it. It's but not, you never no, get asked not. questions no, to do not. that. Maybe like four no, times in your life. Well, you do because you have to figure out. I swear to God, I only no. used that like four times in my life. You know what I remember? In my life. Hey, look, look, after you hit twenty, did you ever go to the store like I, I need a fucking? I keep my protractor with me every day. Calculator, protractor. I need a rhombus. I don't know what those things are called. Even artists don't use them That's when they need to draw circles. Shape. They just learn Dude, to draw circles. They, do? they don't. They don't. Dude, to get perspective <laughs> perfectly on paper, yeah, people no. do use those. To get the angle, yeah, no, you do. they do not. not. In when, when you go to college for animation, they, they, they make you learn how to draw a perfect circle with your hand. That's one of the first things you do. Yeah, but that's not what it's for. It's for finding angles. I know, but what I'm saying is that kids don't ever fucking need to do that. But if you're, if you want to, the get only visual tool I've ever seen an artist use is one of those dumbass wooden dummies that you can like kind of. <laughs> they don't even work good. I you know. can't even bend their legs and all the way. Look at it and still draw bad. What are those? Um, they don't help at all. Wait, They've really wait. got wrong proportions, wait, hold on, hold on, bad, hold on, shitty anatomy. Hold on. I, okay. Because we were talking about protractors, which is like the fucking. Uh, I'm so glad taco, to be back. This is great. The, 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 the taco shaped like type of instrument thing. But what about the? Cause yeah, the taco one. No, one. There's the one was like you put a pencil in it and it has like a pin that holds your spot. That's another one. For fuck's sake, dude. No, <laughs> what's dude, that? Look, what I'm saying is the compass, Corey. That's a compass. We were just <laughs> talking about that. Yeah, it's not, yeah you call it the rumbus. Like I call it the rumbus. Yes. Corey, the where rumbus. were you the whole time? It's Look, astro, dude, I already astro like projection, it. rumbus, <laughs> and Corey. calculator. It's I all mean, you, I you mean. just went into space and then it <laughs> came back. Like, Corey, Later. Corey, find the angle of this fucking circle. I need to use my rumbus. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I don't know where my wallet is. I keep my rumbus in my, in my wallet. <laughs> I need to use my astro projection. Corey. 
My rabbit you know, fell out of the But you guys knew exactly what I was talking about. I knew, I knew straight away. It's just Coreyism. Like, straight away, he's like, yep, he's talking about a conversation. So it is. Your view of the world I'm is, like, is like, about like three degrees skewed from the real reality. Like, I broke my rabbit. Are you sure? Maybe you should check his compass. Oh, gonna, yeah. The teacher's like, you need to go buy a bigger rumpus. <laughs> Tell your mom to buy a bigger rumpus. You live in like fucking, you live in like medieval times where they're like, bring your rumpus to school. Everyone go oh, home. Make sure to bring in your rumpus. Are you thinking about a rumpus? Isn't that a shit? You go to Hogwarts? Rumpus is like an ass. I was thinking about Hogwarts too. I don't know why. I was thinking about Rumpus Hogwarts. Rumpus plus Trudius. <laughs> that makes the ass part. <laughs> Wait, like a perfect example. There's a room in The Simpsons that never gets seen called the Rumpus Room. Oh yeah, the Rumpus Room. What's the Rumpus Room? It's where Homer like, sits on a beanbag and goes, oh. You're just talking wait, about that one No, wait, hold, you saw the, the blueprint of yeah, their house. Yeah, that one blueprint, yeah. There's a and room? how their house didn't make logical sense with, like, the garage. And yeah, but that's to be expected. Well, the Hellbenders I don't expect them. Well, no, that's why Fuck I thought Hellbenders. you thought that. Like, <laughs> what? Oh, the Rumpus Room? Yeah, there's like a, they, they laid their house out and through all the opening shots they had the house. Yeah, okay, you know you know the shot where they're in the kitchen and, and you they see They made the real Simpsons house. Yeah. Too, right. Well, well, yeah. And they try to like it's like. It's hmm. kind of, yeah, yeah. That's when it's starting on. Simpsons had like vomit colors in contrast to their actual yellow skin. It somehow worked. Though. That happens right. where like it works. It somehow works. If they had peach skin, you would be like. Yeah. If they had peach skin, it would be disgusting. Didn't we I think talk it's, about that before. What? How like all the trees were blue and yeah. this, like odd things. It's really goofy. But, but only because the they had ones. yellow skin, it worked. It was like fine. I thought Lenny was black at first too, right? He was black at first. Yeah. They they changed. No, Carl was black. No, no, no. And then Lenny was. Wait, is that an inside joke? And Smithers was black. Yes. Smithers was black. Smithers yeah, and, yeah, and uh, Matt Groening said he was actually supposed to be white, but the animators <laughs> fucked it up on episode one. No, but I was gonna say, you know, when you have a like uh, a series and like you he's know, he's got a series that fucking big and prominent. At this point, he'd be like, "Yeah, Smithers is black." I mean, no, wait, no, no, no Mr. Burns is black. Maybe there was like a black animator who's like, "I want Smithers to be black." Yeah, and like the he, first Social Justice Warrior was like, "There's no." He's like, black. "You know," and you know what? Now I'm gonna make him gay. So fuck you. The gay really black, black. Smithers. He was kind of like a light coffee with like. He was black. Ah, don't get into semantics here. I always thought Flanders was kind of like a, a blackish, like Bill Cosby style. What's semantics. No, he's a, the semantics is like the nitty gritty of no, something. No, Ned, Ned Flanders. Like when you're, measure it with when you're talking record. about, <laughs> you like, let's say, let's go inside the box, figuratively speaking, and then you're like, well, what if the box doesn't have enough room for me? What if it's a small? Listen, like, nigga, I think outside the box. Yeah, he's never in the box. But dude. what if it's a refrigerator box? You can completely fit inside of it. Dude, those, no, that's right, I just called semantics. you nigga. And you, you're white, dude. You said nigga. That's, that's thinking outside the box. I remember once I was shocked. Me and Stamper were going. was like Inception twice. Me and Stamper were going into the sleepy cabin office once and there were like two black dudes and really? the was like hey nigga and they were like hey nigga and I was like, like I, it was like a weird thing of we reality we talked about this exact situation oh, did we? yeah oh, oh, we sorry. talked about it that day oh my bad I, I, I still think about it the day that it happened we were having oh, a podcast oh we had a podcast that day oh yeah, yeah. Well, that, that was, 14. I still think about that oh you know the episode no I, you're like fucking I'm always man. quick to reach for number 14 in any situation <laughs> Why? because it's bigger it's bigger than 10 but it's more than what do you think of the number 13 is that unlucky it's supposed to be my dad's afraid of flying on Friday the 13th he always makes sure not to book a Friday 13th. You know what's fascinating Friday. to me though? What? Like the it's Friday the 13th and like the number 13th, but how many people remember that it's when when Friday the 13th is? It, it's like, you know, when bad luck comes, like when is Yeah, what? Friday everyone the in the world has bad luck that day? Like what? Everyone has the flu and then it's fine. They still do that at hotels. You like do you, you always can, skip yeah. the 13th yeah, floor? Yeah, cuz people don't want to be on the 13th well, floor. Well, 13th is which is weird because it's a really professional it's like, hey, I'm an architect, but yeah. you know, uh, despite the fact that I make this much money, these guys I'm are doing PhDs this, and they're still afraid it's of like, well, you have to go ahead and skip that. Do they like literally like have it so it like goes up? Like there's no Nothing there. You go to MacFest like, soon? Yeah, I'm gonna be you hop in the uh, elevator. Yeah, go 12, 14. But is there, what I mean is like, is there a space below that's just like, No, no, no they no. just skip it. It's they like 11, 13. Yeah, there's no like, 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 like a little 12, tiny 14. floor where all the house elves live. There's no like creepy pasta like 13th floor that no one goes <laughs> like, to. Yeah, there's like a ghost floor. You can like stop the elevator halfway and then kind of crack the elevator <laughs> open and like. Like platform nine <laughs> and three quarters. <laughs> like, all these spirits are like, oh! No, close it! No matter what building you make, it that happens. It just that's that, that obvious thing, which <coughs> when you're on the 14th floor, you're still on the 13th floor because it's yeah, still yeah, no, it's still do the 13th you, floor. Do you remember when we shot the thing for Table Flip the first time we shot it? We stayed at that one hotel. Yeah, that was the hotel where all that shit went down for years, and I had no idea about. It. You know that girl that died in the water tanks? That oh, was you the were hotel, in there. the Eliza Lam thing. Yeah, we were. What the yeah. fuck are you? That was in like uh, North yeah. Korea or South Korea? No, that was California. Huh? I'm pretty sure. I think it was that, South Korea. That hotel yeah. we stayed at was the hotel that it 
it happened. Oh, was that a Freudian slip? Because she was like Korean? <laughs> yeah, I think she was Korean. Yeah, I, or, I, I think so. she was but, Asian. I don't even know but, if she was Korean. Did you know that we stayed at a hotel that is considered like, you know, people have died from like murderous people and people just go crazy in that hotel? That was a pretty sweet hotel. The only it thing was. I remember from that fucking hotel is that when we went there, like nine people, the dude that picked us up and drove us there, yeah. he was like, hey, uh, you know, do, do you know anything about this hotel? And we're like, no. Yeah. He was like, this is where uh, all the munchkins from the Wizard of Oz stayed. <laughs> And we were like, Did oh, they all kill themselves? That's cool. No. Like, yeah. all at the same time. And then, like, the next morning... <laughs> it would have been, like, a historic moment. Somebody else was like, hey, you know this is a hotel where all the munchkins from all the Wizard of Oz stayed? And we are like, yeah. Yeah, we got told that. Why is that? Cool, that's, that's really cool. What room do they stay in? And that happened, like, nine times. Like, yeah, I fucking get it. I didn't like the Wizard of Oz to begin with. And then I remember, uh, one morning I woke up, and like, yeah, there's breakfast downstairs. And it was the shittiest, most it was terrible. pathetic thing I've ever Did seen. munchkin for breakfast? I came down late, and Corey was down. He was just bum. He was sitting at a table eating toast and trying to put toast bread. This was in LA, right? Yeah. But like, if it's in LA, there's obviously going to be some form of celebrity staying somewhere. That's yeah. What like, yeah, exactly. The Munchkins is like the latest the thing. Least. That's, that's never it's like Tom Cruise will walk into a coffee shop. It doesn't mean anything. Hey, hey, you know, you know the house we live in right now. Denzel Washington uh, spent the night at that house like 19 blocks away. Wow. <laughs> Denzel Washington, so, uh, shot, little, you feel that energy? Memory. You feel this soaking into you right Just now? Some man. When me and Corey uh, went to table flip the second time. Maker, we, they, they put us in a hotel and we got there. And we got Corey up. was bummed. I was like, I snuck into the dining room and I kind of peeked around the corner. Yeah. He was sitting there trying to enjoy his coffee but, and spread shit. But on. Look, we, we had this, these guys pick us up, bring us to the hotel. We got our cookie from the front desk and then we're just like, fuck this. We went and stayed with yeah, Susie. We, we, he stayed with Aaron and he booked us out yeah, of the same thing last time yeah. I was out there. I was like, hey, I'm gonna sleep on your couch. I've never been like, to LA. Cool. There's really no reason to because of that. So LA is kind of broad. Is it like worth is it worth visiting or is it just because like you're worth might... going to see Aaron and Susie? I, that's definitely well, yeah, no, worth visiting. Friends are there, yeah. Well, but, yeah, like, absolutely. For a LA week. is kind of a broad term. It's like so many. This is like Burbank and Glendale and yeah, uh, Hollywood. Uh, what's it called? Uh, Studio City and all that shit. I was looking up like. Uh, you say LA is just like this big. It's only worth visiting if you've got access to like. Like, cool things. Yeah, you, you like it's like ooh the Hollywood sign. Who gives a shit? Like, yeah, that, that yeah. Actually, I had no interest in seeing the fucking Hollywood sign because I heard it's like miniature <laughs> and there's just like homeless people around it constantly. People always get mad at me Every for time this. I see the Hollywood sign. It's like it says Hollywood, and then like the D <laughs> is spaced like way off is to that the Bollywood? right. It's... It bothers the shit out of me. Every time <laughs> I see it, I never fucking noticed. It's like Hollywood. the D is like forward and off to the right, so it's like Hollywood. And it's like another O. It's like it's like when you guys like care. play video games that are like based on real places. And then when you go to the real places, are you guys like less impressed? Yeah, usually. Because really? that, that happens to me. Mean? Like when I played GTA 4 the first time, I played it to death, and then I went to. Hollywood. I knew you were gonna bring up the, GTA. Then right? I went to New York, and I was like, eh, okay. It's, yeah. <laughs> but it's weird because it shouldn't be like that, but it is like that. Yeah, for they're me. so accurate now. Didn't GTA 5 have like the Hollywood type sign? Vinewood just kind of. Yeah. GTA 5 kind of sucked. <clears throat> Fuck you. GTA 5 is my favorite. That's anyway, not, let's let's move on. Okay, so I wanted there was Wait a, top... a second. Niall didn't like GTA 5. No, but that was all I had to say. I you didn't like it. I was no, I, I did, kind of. Chris, but... you liked it? No. Yeah, oh, should... okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's... There you go. Let's not talk about 